this should really be common sense, but I guess common sense. <laughs> I am not an expert on how to dress. I am not. I am not a fashion expert. I wear ordinary cheap clothes. <laughs> I don't wear fashionable clothes or anything like that. I am not about that type of life anymore. When you are teaching about God, you have to be very mindful on the way that you dress. Sometimes I like to listen to teachings from other people's YouTube channel. I like to hear about end times teachings, end times visions and dreams on some people's channel I have to look away sometimes I have to click off the video sometimes I may have to look at a other window while the video is playing because some of the people dress in such a seductive way where, my Lord, listen. Some people believe that the more body you show, the more attractive you are. The fashion of this world <laughs> makes Many people think the more of your body you show, the more attractive you are. When you are making videos about God, teachings, end times, visions, dreams, stuff like that, your aim should not be trying to look sexy. Your aim should never be to look sexy. Sexy. You are drawing sexual attention from others. You can wear clothes that cover your body and still look attractive. You don't have to show your body parts to get people to think you are pretty or whatever else. You are teaching about God. This goes for men and women, but you are wearing all this makeup, women, like in a very seductive way you are wearing clothes that show the shape of your body. You may be speaking about God, but listen, there are different forms of ministry. Ministering to a person is not always verbal. You can minister to a person by the way you present yourself. My Lord, myself, sometimes I don't have to say anything, but I minister to people by the way I live my life. I don't have to talk for a whole hour and teach people about God. They can draw inspiration by the way I live my life. There is nothing wrong with looking good, but looking good doesn't mean to show your body. I've seen women and men 
that were handsome and pretty, women and men, that had their body covered totally. I don't know where this paradigm came from where you have to show your shape and wear extra tight clothes to be attractive. You are drawing sexual attention. Sexual attention and being attractive is not the same thing. My Lord, let me say this. If a hideous, let's say that there are, there is a hideous woman and a hideous man. Let's say that these two people run outside naked. Okay. And let's say that there is a group of people there. 90% of those people are going to look. Why? Because there are naked people out there. It is not normal to be naked outside, right? So 90% of people are going to look. Because it is not so much as a normal thing to be naked and running outside. It doesn't mean that they are pretty because I just said that they are hideous, right? But 90% of people are going to look because it is not normal. When you think that you have to show your body to be attractive, you are going to get attention from people, not because you think that you are attractive, but you are showing your body off. You are showing parts of your body that should not be shown. It is not normal. I don't care how many people do it. It is not normal to wear particular types of clothes, showing off curves and all that stuff there. That is not normal. So people are going to look. Not because you think that you are attractive, but because it is not normal. You are drawing sexual attention. I pray that makes sense there. If you call yourself a Christian, and if you dress in that manner, you need to repent. Like I said, I am not, I am not saying that you have to dress in all new clothes. I am not saying that you have to dress in expensive clothes. You can wear old clothes, but cover yourself. You can't minister to people wearing sexy clothes. Are you serious? You can speak about God all day long, but if you are wearing clothes that reveal yourself, men and women, what you are saying holds no weight. The way that you present yourself, like I said, I am not saying that you have to dress perfect. You have to cover yourself. The way that you present yourself means much more than what you say. I can accept a person that has holes in their clothes. Maybe have a hole there and old and faded and stuff like that. I can receive what a person is saying if their body is covered other than a woman or a man wearing these tight-fitting clothes and showing their abdomen and all that stuff there, I'm like, hey, I am not going to listen to this person. Look how they dress. What you don't understand, there is, when you dress like that, there is a spirit to that. There is a spirit. 
the way that people think, the way that people act, the way that people carry on in their day, there's a spirit to it. Is it a spirit of God to dress in very tight fitting clothes, showing your shape off and my Lord, is that a spirit of God? Like, my Lord, you are ministering to people things not of God. I always say that we have to be We have to look after other people. If what you are doing is making another person fall into sin, it is best to either not be around that person or stop doing what you are doing. Dressing in a seductive, a seductive way Be careful in the way that you dress. You can have great information about God, but if you are dressed in a seductive way, what you are saying means nothing. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.